this is Bowser Jr.'s robot reactor. Mega Legs Moon. Uh oh, Mega Leg. It's gonna have some mega sized legs. Look at the size of those legs. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at how giant it is compared to that planet. <laughs> it just looks so silly. That, that's the idea, I would guess. Okay, what you want to do here is, see the sling star over here? In case you haven't guessed, uh, oh wait, you, you don't know this concept just yet. Um, you have to get this cannon here uh, to open up these things. Yeah, you have to lead the bullets over to those glass cases in order to open them up. See, they're homing bullets. Uh, when their eyes turn red, they lock onto you, and also when they uh, do that spinny thing, and uh, that's how you open those cases. I'm pretty sure there's a, a star mushroom on that planet that you could get. But who needs a star mushroom when you've got mad skills? And so, here is the boss. Oh no! I did make it. Oh no! Not Mega Leg. Not with the power of the Grand Star. Uh, this boss battle could actually take a little while because it's kind of annoying in the way how it's set up. You'll see how I mean. Um, I see what I mean, excuse me, when I get up there. It looks kind of like a sniffet head. Um, you'll see these legs here. Obviously, if they squish you, it's a one-hit kill, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I shouldn't say obviously. If I'm not mistaken, they are a one-hit kill. But you want to go up on these legs like that. Just dodge things as you go and get up to the main area. Um, if you fall off at any time, you'll drop back to the planet. And now what you want to do is, just like before, use the bullets to dig into this cage here. Oh no! What have I done? Grab all the star bits you can. Now, now you'll notice that there's this netting over here. Now, ah, oh shoot. Now you're supposed to make holes into it using the bullet bill, just like that. Um, did you see that one make a hole over there in the background? You've probably seen that. If not, rewind the video a little bit. And now you want to get a bullet bill to go, oh, to go through there before it closes up. Oh, shoot. And, oh, I, I could have got another one to go in there. And that, that's, what make, that's what makes this boss battle take a while, is the fact that it, it's, a, it's a tiny bit luck-based in that you have to get a bullet to not explode or hit any other bullets and to get in there. Ooh, ah, did you see that right there? Um, two bullets collided against each other and that was just pure bad luck. I'm gonna try and get... Ah, I was trying... I got that out of pure luck! Did you see that the bullet actually went above that netting? That fence? Wow. Well... Don't question the luck, I guess. <laughs> and so, I got the star. Yay! Let's grab it. has opened up. That is the fountain. And I'm going to show you how to get to that fountain in just a second. The flame represents the power. It is the beacon. Yes. Oh my. It will grow. Just like the things in my pants. Oh. Oh yes. Oh. Oh never mind. <laughs> <clears throat> Stop that! Get a hold of yourself, PK Gam. The center of the universe. Why would I want to go to the center of the universe? Oh, the power is on the new dome. That was the fountain that I was talking about there. It is relaxing. It is quite a beautiful area, actually. Listen to how nice this music is, by the way. And every time you unlock a new part of the dome and power the part 
of Space Station, a new instrument is added to that song. Uh, pay close attention to this song that you're listening listening to every time you beat, like, uh, one of Bowser's or Bowser Jr.'s reactors. Um, now I'm going to show you this map right here. You talk to this black luma over here, um, and then you can click on one of these things here. And then you can see, like, the information on... If, if you got, like, all the stars for the area at the moment, you'll get a crown uh, next to the galaxy. This is... Uh, oh, wait, I should say if you got all the stars in general for that galaxy. Like, if you 100% the galaxy, you'll get a crown next to it. Like, uh, Honey Hive Galaxy and Good Egg Galaxy are not completed at all. Uh, that's why there's no crowns next to it. What do you got to say? I forgot to check you. Uh, I've already checked you out, but I forgot to check what you say. Uh, um, now, well, now when you go over here, um, like this is what I was talking about with that, uh, if you talk to the star and say yes to the galaxy that you want to go to, like the star took you to the sweet, sweet galaxy before when you um, fed that hungry luma 400 lumas, or <laughs> 400 lumas, 400 star bits. And now you talk to this thing, you step here to go to the fountain, Doink! and it transports you to the fountain just like this. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some, I thought there was something, oh no, I'm thinking of the kitchen, there's something behind the kitchen. Um, but I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Um, today, was, today was mostly a whole load of tutorials and stuff like that, just to explain uh, the game the game's controls, uh, how much I love it, um, why I'm doing the walkthrough and whatnot. So, yeah, I think I'm going to uh, stop for here at 11 stars. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's part, and I will see you guys later. Always, always remember to quit and save your game. Uh, always remember to save your game in general so you don't lose your stars, too. Alright, yes, I do want to quit. Goodbye, everyone. Again, hope you enjoyed.